Hey my queens, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I am. Um, I feel extremely refreshed. It's extremely hot, but I did go on my walk this morning and OMG. When I woke up at 9 something this morning, it was already 87 degrees. So, that just kind of gives you a glimpse of what I'm dealing with now that it's 1.47 in the afternoon. So, um... I'm here with another video, of course. If it's your first time coming over to my channel, thank you so much. My name is Deanna. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you want to get more videos like this. And make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming uploads. Um, I have been getting a lot of people saying they haven't been getting my, the notifications. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with YouTube. It's probably some type of favoritism type situation, whatever. I really don't care at this point. Um, because the people that are down for me, that's been down, I'm, I appreciate y'all and it is what it is so I'm going to just not even really um focus on that as much but um if you are a part of the notification gang I really appreciate y'all thank you so much and this wig that I have first of all I'm going to be reviewing two different things I'm going to be reviewing two different um products from Jen Collection and one is their new Esha um wig bonding glue and this is the little sample size that I'm going to be using they did send me the full sizes um, these are the full size and they also sent me the remover now they have two different ones that um, you can use they have the absolute and the firm now the firm is more so for those wig wearers that just want to keep their wig on for maybe one to two days um and the absolute you can keep um this one on this one is for the the queens who want to wear their wig for a longer period of time like maybe a week you know what i'm saying so those are the two options that you do have i love the packaging so girly and gorgeous purple is the color of royalty so you know with some queens around here so the purple just fits you know and then the gold is amazing as well with the top so i absolutely love it um like I said, I'm not going to open these ones yet, but I am going to use this one. And the one that I'm going to use today, since I only want this wig to last maybe one to two days, is the Firm. So, I'm going to go ahead and read the directions on here. And, um, but before that, I'm going to show you what wig I'm going to be wearing. This is the Janet Collection VIP Remy Lace 100% Hand Selected Version Remy Human Hair Wig. And it is, um... In the color 1B and it is 20 inches. So the style name is the VIP Remy Lace Wig 20 inches and it's in the color 1B. I absolutely love the box that it comes in. It's amazing for storage. So I've taken all of the stuffing and things out and all of that good stuff. This is what the model looks like in her unit. So 20 inches I think is amazing for uh, the working woman not too long not too short if you don't like super short hair but this is really really gorgeous I'm hoping that this will be a winner for me so all the off the bat I can already tell that the hair is extremely soft um, the ends look amazing there is some layers going on in here so hopefully I won't have to add any more the hairline does need some work though um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to incorporate my own edges or not. Um, actually, I'm not because I'm going to be um, tacking this down with the glue. So, yeah, we're going to have to do some, some little customizing to the hairline because it is barely um, not pre-plugged. Okay. So, um, as far as construction, you're going to get um, soft lace from ear to ear. You do get that 4x4 four four parting space area in the middle. You do get two combs on the side, a comb in the back with your adjustable bands. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and lay this wig down until it is ready. I'm ready to apply it. So, going into the directions of the Firm Esha um, wig glue this it says to let's see it says shake well make sure to remove all oil and makeup residues on the application area my face is completely washed and i use um 50 percent alcohol i don't like to use anything stronger than that on my face but um 50 percent alcohol around 
the hairline here so all of that extra residue and stuff is gone and then number two it says apply a thin layer of the Esha Lace Bond evenly around the hairline and then the third step is when the glue becomes tacky approximately 20 inch or 20 inches 20 seconds apply lace wig on application area and press for one minute or until firm in place now it does say that you can control the strength by applying an additional coat before you apply the additional coat make sure that the first coat is dry that's what it says on here I'm only gonna do one coat because I really want to see how it reacts just to one coat now for my uh, natural edges I'm gonna go ahead and put make sure they're out of the way using this even New York extreme firm hold will gain edge tamer this is what I've been using lately and I absolutely love it. I love the smell. And I like that it is has things in it that promotes hair growth. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm not exactly sure if this um, Eben New York product is out yet at the beauty supply store. I haven't seen it personally yet. And I go to the beauty supply store at least three times a week. So yeah, I haven't seen it just yet. But I'm pretty sure it will be out. If I don't leave the name of the edge control down below in the description box, please remind me so that I can do that. You guys can get your hands on it. Now, as it states, it says apply thin layer of extra leg font evenly around hairline. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, it's kind of messy. I'm just going to use my finger. Only when I'm recording do I get text messages. Only. So I will say that the glue is a little, little, little bit messy, but it's not horrible. And for future, um, for this, for like future use, I'm going to go ahead and use a, um, um, makeup brush applicator to you, to uh, apply this just because your fingers already do have their own like oils in it. So it could affect... So I'm going to let this sit for about 20 minutes and then I'll be right, 20 minutes, 20 seconds, and then I'll be right back to go ahead and, uh, you can use a blow dryer if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and just follow directions, let it sit for 20 seconds, and then I'll be right back to apply the wig. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and place the wig on. Be super gentle with this. I like how this wig does fit my head from ear to ear and I have a small head so this might be kind of small on somebody with a larger head. Now right now it's still showing them white so I'm hoping that it um, dries clear. And I purposely didn't watch any other reviews on this um, pro particular product because I wanted to form my own opinion of it. So yeah, I'm looking at real cray cray right now because this hairline is not it, okay? So I'm going to let this dry and I need to figure out where I want my part. Do I want a middle part? I feel like I always do a middle part. I 
it does feel really firm and that is the name of it so feels like it's living up to its name but I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then get my products to get this hair exactly how I want it but I'm pretty sure this is where my part is gonna be I'm just gonna do like a diagonal part this way to my right and see what I can come up with I don't know if I'm gonna do like a whole extreme baby hair thing because the hairline is not the way I want it to be so yeah I don't think but there's a lot of like flyaways and like static if you guys can see that so I'm gonna need my foaming moves by Eva New York to get it right but we gonna see what we can do already it's feeling really taut so I'm gonna go ahead and let it um, sit for a few more minutes and then I'll be right okay back. so I'm back what I did and I thought I was recording was I put um, some powder in my parting area here and that's what I want so I did go ahead and wear my scarf while I was off camera just had it like that and um, I did use some of my um, before I tied it down I put some of my foaming mousse on there okay you can use whatever foam and mousse you desire, but I do like the even 24 hour because it really does last 24 hours. I like it a lot. So right now I'm just using my hot comb and I'm just using that. If you hear me popping, that's from the phone that's still on there. This thing is hot bowl. And this is just going to make sure that those hairs stay down and they have been so far there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this hairline if you want to do different options as far as really work with the 4x4 parting and all of that but for me I don't see myself doing all of that right now especially since I'm not going to be wearing this wig like for a long period of time so with that being said gonna go ahead and just create a little bit of baby hairs 